The views and opinions of the host and of the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the show, or Tagope PH, and of Global TV Network. Yes! Maganda, maganda ka si lahat. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Animation Show. Of course, ako inyong uh, host once a month lahat. This is David Angelo, Master Poggy PH. Magandang hapon sa inyo lahat, mga disimulo ko. At siyempre, kasama ko ang napakagaling, napakagandang si I.K. Yeah, magandang, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Unfortunately, wala si Ralph today because he has some priorities working on right now. Pero hello pa rin, say, hello pa rin sa'yo, John Ralph. I hope you're doing well and namimiss ka namin, of course. Miss ka na namin, Ralph. Susulat kang madalas, ha? <laughs> yeah, yeah. At kay, kamusta naman? Anong pinagkaabalaan mo nitong uh, mga nakaraang linggo? I know, na-miss tayo ng marami kasi uh, wala tayo last week dahil nga sa mga nangyari dito sa, sa bansa natin. No? Bumuno tayo ng apat na bagyo. Oh my God. Yeah. So, kamusta? Kamusta week mo? Of course, ano naman yun. Um, very, of course, ano naman. The, the times were very much stressful right now dahil sa bagyo. But um, me and my my friends are doing what we can to provide support, to provide, to provide help, especially Sir Ralph. Um, kudos to his um, streaming for a cause. Uh, sobrang sobrang naging um, maganda yon for the for the people na nangangailangan ng tulong. And of course, um, to also to all other people there out there in the Filipino otaku community who are doing their best to provide help as well. But those also, also to Triple E sa kanilang online posting for a cause. Wow, and, that's and, nice. And, and also thank you then sa mga kaibigan natin dyan, sa Timo Higakuen who took part in the online posting session for a cause. Ayan. Wow. Ito yung maganda sa mga Pilipino, talaga nagtutulungan tayo. No? So kudos to everyone. We can do this. We are resilient. But syempre, Dapat sana talaga magpaganda pa ito. And anyway, ako naman, naging busy sa mga, alam naman, mga shows din natin. And syempre, yeah. I've, I've hosted the uh, ito, uh, anti-wildlife, illegal wildlife trafficking webinar. So, ha, bukas meron ulit sa Casa Tuesday. Kasi medyo nagkakaroon ng problema sa wildlife, illegal wildlife trafficking sa Mindanao. Anyway, Ano ba mga pinapanood mong anime ngayon? Yan, yeah, naman. Nakon <laughs> Of course, di ba? Um, okay. I've been watching Jujutsu Kaisen. Which wow. is a very, sobrang lit talaga na anime na but I re- really recommend na panoorin nyo. Also, we're watching out yung I'm Standing on a Million Lives. Wow. And yung Tony Kawa over the moon for you. Like sobrang yun to tong Tony Kawa it's very much um about sojo manga about sojo anime about mar- marriage, diba? It can be pretty much about yung know, you two people fall in love, getting married and um having the time together as a married couple. Syempre naman, diba? Um there syempre naman, diba? Um as we all know, hindi naman din madali yung married life. Pero the but, pero the purse that we have is very worth it naman, diba? Anyway, oh, no. ako naman, uh, na- nanood naman ako ng rerun. Uh, I've watched, uh, rewatched uh, Hunter Hunter recently. Uh, lalo na itong uh, Green Island and of course the the, 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 the Chimera Ant uh, arc. So I watch it again kasi talaga napaganda ng story ng Hunter Hunter. One of my, my uh, most favorite anime is really Hunter Hunter and then Dragon Ball Z of course. And of course, Ajin. Yan. Uh, hindi pa kayo pa napapanood. underrated uh, one of the underrated anime Ooh. talaga is Ajin sa very good anime yan of course na tayo sa ating animating news for this weekend show ah wow, mukhang maganda yung pagbabalita mo nito Then, let's take it away for our animating news anime Kogias will be announcing a new project on December 5 via YouTube Live, and fans around the world will get the chance to witness it. Fans have been speculating where it can be an anime film, another season, a spin-off or OVA, an event, an exhibition, or even a game, but the hype will surely keep fans on their toes. The official website of Dr. Stone has revealed three new cast members for, this, for their sequel, Stone Wars, which will be premiering on January 2021. 
The new cast includes Kensho Ono, Yoshiki Nakajima, and Atsumi Tanizaki. Ono Kensho has been known for his roles in Kuroko no Basket as Kuroko Tetsuya and in Jojo's Bizarre Adventures as Jorno Giovanna. Yoshiki Nakajima is also well known for his role in Makoto in Ingress and, and he is also the Japanese voice actor for Neptune of the American animation series Ruby. Atsumi Tanizaki is also well known as Miyu Amano from Blind S and Ryo Futaba from Bunny Girl Senpai. Life English member Takanashi Kiara announces that on November 26, Hinatori, her first ever original single, will be released. The music video is currently under production by Monica Lope. The VTuber also mentioned that she will be releasing her voice back soon. The official Twitter of the film adaptation of Juicy, The Tiger and the Fish, has revealed a new key visual and promotional video of the film on Wednesday. The film is set to premiere on Japanese theater spike on Christmas Day, December 25th. Josie and the Tiger and the Fish is created by Seiko Tanabe and it's animated the studio bones and the OST will be performed by Eve entitled Blue Waltz. The creator of Naruto, Masashi Kishimoto, returns to take over Ukyo Kodashi as the writer for Boruto, Naruto Next Generations. This took effect on the current issue of V-Jump which was released yesterday starting with chapter 52 of the manga series. Kodachi has shown his gratitude for the support he has received for the current 13 volumes and asked everyone to support Kishimoto from here on out. This is IK Divina for the Animazing News. Yon. Napakaganda yeah. ng update. Alam mo yung Ingress, I have, uh, I played Ingress, uh, I think, uh, about one and a half year ago. It was a very good game. Kasi habang nakasay ka sa MRT, you can play, you can attack uh, parang mga real life uh, structures. So I've, I've initially watched Ingress, although, you know, in some way, uh, as a player of the game, I find it a little bit na parang Parang naiba kasi yung kwento. Kasi Ingress is a game that has a story generated by the, by the creators. So on the anime end, I'm a bit disconnected. So so probably I'll I'll try to sink in uh, my uh, heads again to it. But it's a, it's a good anime though uh, if you uh, will not connect it directly to the game. So yeah. Dr. Stone, hindi ko pa napapanood. Nakakatawa lang, Stone Wars. Baka magbatuhan sila doon. <laughs> <laughs> True. Anyway, this anyway, um, this Doctor Stone, which, uh, mind you, was already up streaming on Netflix start nung mga around November pa, and um, I will actually um, some of my friends are been watching Doctor Stone ever since it first aired on Japan and sa mga streaming sites, of course. And of course, yung, ano, they were really mo- talking about the Stone Wars, which is the very interesting art according to the fans. And having these um, voice actors, especially Ken Shoona, which is... Oh, oh. Si Ken Shoona yung talagang kaabang-abang dito because he's really, really much well-known for his role as dun nga sa Kuroko na Basket and sa Zuzu's wow. Bizarre Adventures. And alam mo yun? Di ba? Ken Shoona yun, eh. Di ba? It's and a... Then, I, I when when it comes um, to anime, you know, there are tons of new anime coming into Netflix. I don't know if if the animation show has already discussed it, but uh, sobrang dami ng paparating na anime talaga sa, sa Netflix in 2021. I think uh, Netflix is really concentrating on on anime uh, next year, no? Uh, because uh, I think uh, titles like uh, Marvel will be jumping probably jumping out of Netflix very soon because. Disney yes, Plus, uh, they will be already be streaming uh, streaming Marvel titles and other uh, connected titles to Disney on Disney Plus. So, yun, anime talaga, pagunta ng Netflix. Mm-hmm. And of course, oh, oh, ano pala, uh, I would like to also update that. Uh, this just, there was, there was just in like, um, ito lang. Millionaire Detective Balance Unlimited is now streaming on Netflix as well. Mm-hmm. So, sa mga Netflix users na hindi pa nakapanood ng 
Pugo Cage, if you na, I really, I really recommend this anime. This is because this is very a very refreshing thriller anime. Na kaya gusto na talagang kahumalingan nyo at kaiinggitan nyo dahil sa dami ng pera ni Kambi Daisuke. Anyway. Ayan, mukha may pan ni Ono, Ono Ken dito sa nanonood sa atin. Hi, Ran. Too big. Good Hi, afternoon Ran. kayo. Hi, Ran. So yan, habang inihintay natin ang ating mga guests, let's get an update from our weekly, uh, you know, weekly segment from the prolific and ano, napakagaling na kasama natin sa community na si Jay Agono of Keep Six. For our animation community! Hey guys! Jay Goni po. Welcome back sa ating animation community. Now, there's something different in my setup right now. And yes, I'm doing this recording at night time. So, hapon pa lang. Para tayo na sa ibang time zone. But yeah, uh, while I'm focusing on finishing all the stuff on my work, ano? eh, I saw this news that MPA, the Motion Pictures Association of America, the lo- their lawyers are trying to shut down niya, that SI, which is basically the Pirate Bay of Anime. There is something to talk about, the always, uh, about the anime community, the animation community, pero this, this one, para it's a perennial problem na eh. Piracy. Okay, my thoughts on piracy is that walang magpa-pirate kung available yung access sa mga fans. Years and years of piracy had taught us na we can explore better series than the ones being broadcast on satellite television, on uh, on broadcast television, ano? Yeah, basically, yung mga ano, yung paulit-ulit na anime sa local TV and all that. Eh, when it comes to the internet, there's more. Eh, dyan natin natutunan yung mga deconstruction, yung mga madoka, yung mga ano pa bang... There's a lot eh. Well, of course, easy kai. Have you ever seen a new anime series being broadcast on TV nowadays? Iinan lang or... Most of the time, wala talaga, wala talaga. It's, it's, it's a really niche resource. Well, then you got Netflix, yes. Pero yung scope ng Netflix is either you have to access proxy or you have to really get go somewhere else just to get the anime title. Kung hindi available sa Netflix, ano. Well, Netflix is now becoming a powerhouse in the anime industry. Um, they they did much better than Amazon. They did much much better. In the context of Southeast Asia, they did much much better than Crunchyroll. And last time we talk about Crunchyroll being acquired by the Sony Anime Mafia, no? Uh, I mean cartel. I mean, yeah, the the Sony Anime Monopoly. Yeah. And now we talk about MPA Lars trying to shut down niya that SI. Eh, of course, uh, we saw Nia's reaction. Uh, basically, anime cartel. Ako din, nagtaka, anime cartel. So, there's now anime monopoly and there's now an anime cartel. Which, which, I don't know. Ang opinion ko kasi sa mga cartel is that sila-sila rin ang kumikita. Well, that's on my standpoint as a consumer na... Well, sa pwede natin sabihin na yung mga anime animation artists, yung mga nasa animation industry, hindi rin yan uh, tumikita ng mataas pag may dagdag na trabaho because of, uh, of course, may mga license source and all that. And napakahirap na eh. it's, it's easy to assume that the industry and not the animators themselves, yung mga nasa baba talaga ng pyramid, yung nakikinabang pagdating sa mga cartel na ito. It's easy to assume like that. And that's how I'm going there, no? It's really easy to assume. So, bago pa ako maubusan ng oras dito, uh, my opinion on this case is yung uh, pag-shutdown ng niya, they will never shut it down because they really said it very clear. To briefly address this, we have no plans to shut down 
or quit at this time. If we do choose to shut down eventually, we will make a public database dump for any successor entity to use. We will not be just disappearing like our predecessor site, leaving everyone else on their own. Remember, this is the second iteration of Nya, the Pirate Bay of anime, as they say. And yeah, uh, to, to cap this off, ano, sabi ng Nya sa Twitter, Do we sell cocaine now in your head canon? What the hell is an anime cartel? Please limit your fanfic posting in public. It's giving me secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> But really, it's embarrassing na wala, walang paraan para ma, makapalod ng anime na very rare. And then, these people are trying to cut it off. So, I think that's about it for my uh, opinions on the animation community. Back to you guys. So yeah, no. Uh, th- thank you, uh, Jay Agono. Though I am really, uh, you know, I I'm on the other side of the copyright issue. Because technically, no, we're talking about the Japanese animation community. Uh, siguro we could, I could really sympathize with, you know, with watching uh, pirate, pirated anime titles way back 2000, 2005. Since talagang there's no way to to, you know, to watch anime except, you know, to, to pirate even CDs, no? Andiyan nga yung CS Central dati. But right now, I think, you know, if we, if we, this is my stand, no? personally, if you love anime, you gotta watch it legally. Otherwise, yes. if you if you watch it pirated, you download it, you pirate it, you're, 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 you're not giving uh, the proper care for anime. Kasi these people are paying, you know, the, the, the designers, the animators and everything mahirap po mag-animate my son is a, is an animator is studying animation and it's very hard so kung nanakawin lang natin it's a disservice to you know to them so talagang watch legally mag nagtisa lang tayo kung wala pa tiyagaan muna natin yeah, that's right. my that's right. my side no? alam ko may mga magagaja sabihin eh kasi wala kaming pera eh wala kaming pera ang pampanood magalit na sila pero if you don't have money to watch it just don't watch okay Tsaga ka muna. O, oh, itay mo kaibigan mo. Makishare ka sa Netflix. Diba? Pero naman ang Netflix account mo para makapanood ako. Pero naman ang ganito mo. Diba? But we should support legal things and legal anime. Uh, yeah. Right now, that's the best thing to do. That, that, that's my opinion. So. <laughs> Kasi, um, this has been like the, a very trending topic among the community. Especially ever since na nawala yung kiss anime sa... Uh, sa ating ano, yung, kumbaga, wala ng kiss anime, wala ng nanata, yung, kumbaga, eh, yun yung main source ng karamihan for the, karamihan ng mga anime fans, especially those na, hindi, uh, sadly, hindi, kasi, sadly, kasi hindi naman din lahat afford ng Netflix, hindi naman din lahat afford mag, mag premium control or Funimation or um, do some sort of parang proxy, may mga, hindi, but, hindi lahat, not everyone know, can, can do that, diba? We could or, argue, or, argue uh, all afternoon, but, Netflix is just the, the the lowest price is 159 pesos. I don't think na reason yung you can't afford Netflix. I I yeah. don't think that. However, yun nga, before, you also have like, Crunchyroll which is free. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's Ayun just um, para kang nanako if you're stealing, it's true. like you're stealing. Uh, it's uh, it's a crime. Uh, piracy is a crime. Come on, di ba? <laughs> yeah, yun nga. However, yun nga, I go because I also uh, meron din 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 ng sentiments ang ibang tao, of course. Before, like even before, the mobile mobile plan for Netflix was even out. Like it was, it was, it wasn't even an option. I was, I, I, I actually tried that time. Na wala, um, it was oh, I already had a Netflix account before the mobile plan was released. Na talaga nagbayad talaga ako na literal na four hundred pesos for that. So. Um, so I kind of um, realize and I empathize with the sentiments of the others and but of course, um, like like um, David said, it's still a crime because you're because if you're pi- if you steal you content or steal there's anything, there's a technique, anime, no. Mm-mm. You, you, there's a there's this this side called uh, you know uh, you generate emails, mm-hmm. you can generate emails. Then you generate emails. Then you subscribe to Netflix. There's a one one month free subscription, and then after one month you create another email. Then you resubscribe to Netflix for another free free account. That, that's a legal thing, no? You you you're using a legal thing to to subscribe to Netflix. Pay no money, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. I, I, they have their sentiment, but I don't think. Because parang ano yan eh? Parang alibaba. 
tulad nung na, na, ano there's there's someone caught stealing and the grocery na sayo oh, pangkain to ng pamilya ko eh kailangan ko to wala kang pambili it's the same thing as that di ba so yes. if it's a crime if it's illegal it, it's it's illegal yes and of course I'm, I'm really sorry guys so kung mag, if you if you will hate me for that i will accept but you know uh, we should support i really love anime I, I have seen, you know, ang baba, ang kasabi nga ni Ran eh, ang baba ng, hindi naman ganun kalaki yung sweldo ng mga seiyus, ng mga, ng mga animators. So, you know, uh, let's support them. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, yun nga. Um, by streaming legally, everyone, you're giving credit to where it's due. You are giving, um, you are giving the animators a living. Especially if you watch the YouTube video of the Asian boss, there is there are a lot of animators right now who are undercompensated, and piracy is one of the factors, like one of the factors or the reason why na ganon yun ganon yun buhay ng mga animators natin. Although there are people right now who are providing help for these animators, it it might not be. It might not gonna be enough for the long run, so I really recommend to stream legally and um, as much as possible. Um, don't get yourself mismo mga legit na legit na streaming streaming sites. And of course, right now, marami tayo opportunities ngayon kung saan kayo pa ni makapano na anime. Merong meron na tayo mga legal streaming legal YouTube channels na nagpapalabas ng anime. Meron Netflix has already released a mobile plan. Ni like na na mentioned bit kanina ni David and of course, we have. We have Crunchyroll. We have. Um, what else? We have. 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 Kasama natin ngayong hapon ang dalawa sa mga sikat na cosplayer ng ating generasyon. Generasyon Jujel. So, yun. I, I really have to meet them still, I think. So, eto na mga ibigan, Ating alamin kung paano nga ba sila nakapag-cosplay sa new normal. No? Nakapag-cosplay pa rin sa new normal. Nakita kayo mga cosplay na, lulupit. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Zach and Roxanne Kaur. Yes, good hey afternoon, guys. guys. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Magandang magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Welcome sa Anime Sing Show. Ang gaganda naman ang guwapo ng ating guest. Ayan. I heard na Roxanne is a friend of Alodia. So nakita kami nun dati. Yung nag-master pogi ako nun, siya yung judge when I joined as Mr. Satan from Dragon Ball. That's one of my best cosplay. Masaya kasi mag Mr. Satan, people are laughing. You can prank people, diba? Yeah. <laughs> and getting away Very with it. Very iconic character. <laughs> so, one of the characters that get, get away, you know, joking around with people, trying to, you know, uh, uh, prank a joke with them. So, yun. So, yun. How are you guys? Kamusta ba kayo ngayon? Okay, you know what? Uh, we're, do we're doing fine. Uh, prepping up for some more uh, newer projects that are upcoming. Yes. <laughs> I have a shoot later after this. Busy, <laughs> busy talaga. <laughs> yes. So, siguro, yes. Ano, uh, IK, unahin na natin yung tanong ng isa sa ating, ano, uh, para sa kanila, na si kay uh, Ral. No? Mahalaga to kasi wala si Ral dito, so, bigyan natin ng person question si Ral. Ano kaya yung tanong ni Ralph na to? Yan, sisingin siya sa gitna ng ating screen in 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Hi, Sir Zach. Miss Roxanne, this is Ralph. Um, one of the host. <laughs> Pero wala po ako dyan today because of a meeting. Pero uh, I just want to share na I met Miss Roxanne and Sir Zach in a convention back in 2019. It was Halloween. Uh, it, I think it's Otaku Zin Halloween, I think. Then, uh, that was the first convention that I've been to after four years of working. So, I was so excited. Tapos, parang, uh, that time kasi I forgot my interest no, and my love for anime and convention. So, that was the very first time. And then, I saw Sir Zach wearing his uh, Giyu cosplay. And then, Miss Roxanne uh, with her... Um, 
uh, Shinobu Kocho. So, we're so excited. I took pictures. I interviewed them. I got their cards. And I even invited them to be on our show in ABS-CBN before. Then, uh, after that, kinabukasan, I started my cosplay vlog as well. So, it was really my dream to interview both of you. So, I will. Oh, it's so yun, et, eto yung tanong niya. Uh, hindi ko man kayo may interview, pero ito po ang tanong. Sorry sa sharing, eh, pero ito po ang tanong ko. Now that you have this kind of a reach and known for being one of the new cosplayers who are really into this craft, no? what other things that you still wanted to do? Yun lang. Ah, uh, you have your advocacies, you have your cosplays for a cause. So, meron pa po ba kayong ibang gustong i-pursue? Wants to, yeah. wants to go first. You? Uh, I, haven't, uh, uh, I actually didn't hear the question. Sorry. Medyo, so, I think uh, as uh, Ralph is saying, uh, you, you already have your advocacies and stuff. You have the, I, I think you have done many things already. Uh, probably Rob's question is, uh, uh, what do you still plan to do after after all the things that you have done? Then let's get back uh, in 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 retrospective to how you started. Let's first start. What's your future plans? Uh, let's start with uh, Sak. Uh, for future plans, I hope that because recently uh, there was a typhoon, right? Um, it was my first time. Uh, they call this. Um, starting a donation drive for people who were affected because um, as someone who uh, has a platform it's really hard not to take action because like if you have like a big audience you have the social responsibility to help out in society whether you're like a celebrity like a like a person uh, a big personality or what so i thought you know maybe i could use like what i do to help out you know those in need right now and I guess one of my advocacies is for mental health because that's something that's very close to my heart. Um, I want to promote a healthier uh, mental health. Uh, I want I want to promote uh, no, a healthier mental health uh, mindset and to like you know help others out who are trying to cope with these conditions. And yeah. Uh, that's that's something I strongly advocate for because if we don't take care of our um, mental health as much as our physical health, it's going to be like uh, it's going to affect you in all always possible. So that's something I would like to uh, work on next. Wow, that's uh, something. You know, mental health is really a big big problem, especially during uh, this all of this lockdown and pandemic. It, it yeah, puts us even very study. much. Yeah. Saying that it jumped like forty to fifty percent uh, uh, problem with the second television. Roxanne, how about yes. you? Um, for me, uh, same with Zach. Um, I recently did a donation drive for the typhoon victims. So, um, I don't know if because I'm not so open about it. I'm. I don't know if a lot of people know that I work in the medical field. I'm a nurse and I studied medicine for two years. So most of my advocacy is mostly on health. Well, Zach is on mental health. I, I have, um, I mean, mental health is one part, but I, I mostly um, advocate um, good health because um, both of us, me and Zach, sakitan ka ba talaga? And, it, it really stops you from doing what you do and all the plans you you have um, already laid. So, like, um, for me, I want to advocate to people to stay healthy always para uh, to take care of themselves more before doing what you want to do. Like, because you won't be able to do, like, um, the stuff, stuff you want if you're not healthy enough. So... True. Um, yeah. Um, balance lang siya between work, um, hobbies, and taking care of oneself. And then then siya. So, yan. Wow. Pretty interesting. 
So and, I'm sure you're already cosplaying and doing a lot of stuff. Ano, uh, IK, would you like to yeah. ask them? Uh, Asa yan, 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 yan. I actually agree with the both of them. Eh. Kasi talagang, ay, wait, wait, ang hirap talaga magkasakit. To be honest. Uh, yeah. Like, there, uh, would, uh, ano, whenever, whenever you get sick, it just, it just stops. It just, ano, maraming, maraming, everything would just come to a halt. Like, uh, like I should like to share like a few weeks ago my mom got sick. Um everything was like I know the entire household chores were split. Since that lang kami sa bahay and we're all women in there in here. So most of the heavy jobs were na, na passed on sa akin and then, yeah, so we all had to do we had to all had to do our part but it was still hard especially for me na I was also doing um I was also working on something, uh, um, right, and also writing and everything. But it's also hard na, and it's also hard seeing my mom suffering in there. Na siya sa, siya sa bed, and like, so, no, ka lang, mom. Pahing, you know, just, just rest there. We'll take care of the rest, and then eventually she got well. And all this, 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 it's um there is some parang there's some sort of spectrum because there are a lot of people I know who just were just like afraid of sharing something of sharing problems. Minsan ma- magugulat na lang ako minsan they will, they will just break down when it's just too late for them to seek help no mga ganun. and then but I don't know. I was all when I see them. Ako na na yung species for them, and I just, I just didn't, I know, just didn't know what to do at first. But to listen to them, at lang, I knew there was something I had to do. Where right now I'm still working on it. Anyway, yeah. let's get, well, let's get back to it. So we'll get to where you guys started. So yeah. I would like to ask, like, um, how did you become an anime fan, and eventually, how did you become a cosplayer? Like, what was your first cosplay? Of course, where was your? Sh- would you like to share your most memorable moments, or like your turning points, or your big breaks as a cosplayer? Want to go first? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll go it. first. Okay. Um, I became an anime Since fan mostly. <laughs> yeah, mostly because of my mom. She. She used to buy a lot of card captor Sakura stuff, and we got into anime. We had a VHS pa before of card captor Sakura, and she bought a lot of <laughs> merch, parang lahat ng pillowcases and um, the beddings are anime. So like Hunter Hunter and Ghost Fighter, I used to remember those when I was younger mm-hmm. so like um she's a big part of it why i started watching anime um regards to cosplaying i discovered at the alodia um in deviant art back in uh, around 2006 i guess so she's one of the i i was surprised when i discovered that she was a filipino so like um i thought at first she was like an international um cosplayer but when i discovered oh she's filipino so like um maybe i can um follow her so after i graduated high school i tried cosplaying a character in a con that was my first the first character i cosplayed in a con was mary makinami illustrious from evangelion so when I tried it, I found wow, it, Evangelion. Oh my god, it was really fun, <laughs> but it was um, it was tiring but fun, especially. Um, I, I discovered that it wasn't so easy as it seems like, um, finding the resources for the wigs, the lenses, finding the right, the right costumes because it was so scarce before. <laughs> It's so it's so hard to find costumes or um, tailors who can make really good costumes. So it was fun, and the the process was really fun. And cosplay wasn't really well accepted before. So, and I had college; it was so busy. So I had a long hiatus. So I I stopped for a while, then came back with the help of Zach, because he needed me. When after I. <laughs> May pa lang dito. Yeah. 
I, I, I basically revived her cosplay life. Because <laughs> um uh, hey. after after that hiatus, parang I I felt like I didn't know anyone in the community anymore. So I I was so anxious after my first con after the hiatus. So because oh no, I I was really anxious. I don't know anyone. I don't. I really don't know anyone at all. Na sa cons, parang where are where are my friends? Wala, parang they're all working na. They're not into cosplaying na. I was like, I I I really felt alone. Even if nandyan si Zach, parang it was just my anxiety. But eventually, I got to um meet a lot of people, new people. I got I hung out with them. Tapos yon, parang I really enjoyed again. Tapos yun, na-addict na. <laughs> Ulit. <laughs> Kailan ka, I mean, when did you return to uh, to cosplay? Um, 2016, I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, 2016. that's right. I stopped 2012, late 2012. Parang papaganon pala, kasi parang sabi, uh, inaalala ko how, how, how I met you in events and everything, kasi parang 2012 ako, tapos parang 2016, 17, 18, I tried to be more on the side of organizing rather than Rather than cosplay, because I cosplay before, like you know, Mr. Satan, uh, Kratos from God of War. So, para after that, I've been engaged naman in organizing. So, para nisip ko na, have I met them before? Kasi yeah, I've been yeah. active in events. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think si Sak, I think Sak, uh, I have, I have, I have seen you in, in some cosplay events already. So, para ako yeah, naman yeah, yeah. start. Uh, for me, I started. Uh, as an anime fan first. As an anime fan, I think most of us grew up watching anime like Dragon Ball, Ghost Fighter, uh, Hunter x Hunter, yeah, Slam Dunk, the st- uh, those early anime on uh, local TV. So I guess that's my introduction to anime. It's something that, you know, everyone in your age liked. Yeah, even our parents like grew up on anime. They started like showing like uh, Voltus V, Mazinger Z in local TV. So I guess that's my roots, but in local TV, that's where I started uh, discovered anime. So like after like, I think uh, the anime time slot back then was around afternoon. So uh, every afternoon, I would watch an episode of the anime that they were showing on uh, on those days, and then we go out. I go out with my uh, neighbors, and then we started role playing, role playing the characters that we see on TV. So I guess through the year, yeah, I think we all, I think we all do that. <laughs> yeah, ayun. So I think as an artist, that that um, feeling stayed with me. You know, wanting to role play characters, wanting to be emulate the characters that I love on on the shows that I watch. Or the movies that I watch. So uh, back in uh, 2008, I I had uh, I had access now to Animax and Hero TV, and they were constantly featuring cosplayers back in the day. And the very first one I discovered was you know, si Ate Alodia. So I saw how um, you know how she really stood out from the rest. Um, and then there were like people like Kaname who was also fe- featured on Animax, and he was like, he was like the Cloud Strife of that time, like around 2008 to 2009. Everybody knows who, who Kaname was. So I saw, I saw how you know detailed and how intricate they do their cosplays, and I, I thought to myself like, I, someday I want to be like that, and I, someday I want to try to do that. And then there were like moments in the house, and I was just like around ten, I guess. I, I would just rummage through the, the closet, uh, uh, my parents' closet, and just find some uh, clothes that I can piece together into costumes. But you know, I wasn't really satisfied with the stuff that I came up with. And since you know, back in the day, uh, for a ten-year-old, especially for a ten-year-old, the source for wigs, for costumes, it was pretty hard. Uh, yeah. So I decided, like, I put that dream aside first, and then I just continued studying and studying, and then until like uh, 2014, I the access to costumes to to uh, tailors and seamstresses who make costumes and do stores that sell wigs, 
they became more uh, accessible for me because you know back then I lived uh, I lived uh, in the province so uh, when I uh, moved to the city I got to d finally uh, uh, do cosplay so I started around 2014 in cosplay formally uh, my fir very first character was uh, Kenshin Himura from uh, Rurumi wow. Kenshin. And that was the same time Batu that, uh, yeah, I was the same. That was the same time that the sequel sequels came out. Yeah, it's 2014, the same year. Yeah. So that's that's like my very first cosplay and the very first con that I got to cosplay in. And it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed, you know, being able to become the character that I love, and to enjoy it with other people with similar uh, interests. So that's wow. how I started. It's really nice. Sabi nga kanina when I'm talking to Ralph, you know, I, I believe sabi ko na real cosplayers are those that, uh, you know, uh, they know the, the, the characters that they are cosplaying. They love the anime. So sabi ko, wow, now that yeah. I've heard it, I would say na, yeah, talaga dapat pag cosplay ka, at least kahit konti talaga alam mo. But you know, you two are really uh, so into it. So going into that, ano ba yung mga most memorable cosplay experience ninyo. Uh, let's start with Roxanne. Um, for me, siguro, my most memorable cosplay experience was um, last year when I was in Cebu. Um, we met with our friend. Um, if you know Wild Curry, Karen, and Knight Coaster, Knight, um, they became more friends back in uh, last year now. So, we had this um, mini shoot in the event area. So yeah. like uh, that was a Cebu get event, kasi, and they were like yeah. the guests. So. Yeah, they were the main guests. So we were one of the guests too. But and yeah, we were one of the guests. Then pair like the local guests coming. So like um, for me, it was really memorable because we were not really that close, but before, but. I I felt the sincerity ng pagka welcome nila sa amin like wala when when we especially when we were eating together already after the dinner part I felt like there was no barrier between us um even if both of them have more achievements more followers more supporters we felt like we were home and we felt so welcome Parang there's there was an instant click with them talaga. So for me, it was more of them accepting us for who we are, even outside of cosplay, and not judging us of um whether marami ba kami followers or sino ba kami in the international cosplay community. Parang ganon. So parang um yeah. I was I was so happy to have met those kind of people kasi um di ko naman nila lahat are there are some people kasi who judges you on kung ano na yung na kung ano na yung naabot mo like parang how many followers you have parang ganun parang I, I, it's not that healthy pero we can't help it there are some people like that talaga so yun parang um that was our con 2019. So, yun yung most memorable experience ko. Um, oh. The international cosplayers welcoming us. Na, as us talaga. Not, not as us na cosplayers with a standing. Parang ganun. I know the, the, the reality of that is if we really get to know the international cosplayers and the, even the, the international guests, no, they're they are more into they would really like to engage the their fans and the audience kahit nga nung sa APCC nung malapitan mo yung guest they were just roaming around the you know yes. the event yeah yeah i yes, remember yes. that i ran into several guests <laughs> pero siyempre yung mga security mga malalaking bouncer siyempre yeah, palaging yeah, yeah. protective yeah. pero sila gusto talaga nila kung pwede ka kakausapin eh may kakausapin yes ka yes nila. So that's, yeah, uh, that's really amazing. How about you, Zach? Yeah. Uh, me, I can I can add up on uh, what uh, Rock said. Uh, it was really um, memorable for me because um, 
uh, one of my very uh, uh, one of the people I really looked up to in cosplaying is Knight, and actually getting to be friends with him and become you know uh, actually collaborating with him on the day that we met is really you know it was an amazing experience. And yun nga sabi ni Roxan, uh, we had an instant click, instant connection, and they were like very enthusiastic to get to know us beyond cosplay. And until now, we're we're still in contact, and we're still uh, talking about like future projects, future collaborations. So it's an amazing feeling that you know you can connect with people um, who are overseas, even during the pandemic. Yes, but, yes. Um, to, but on another, uh, no, another note, uh, one of my most memorable experiences was back when I started. Uh, when I started, I mentioned earlier, I started around 2014, and then. But that was the year that I was really experimenting more into makeup. So I didn't have, uh, I didn't always put on full costumes since, you know, I had a limited budget back then. And I was just like a first year college student. Um, I started practicing like makeup transformations with the very, very little makeup that we have here at home. And then I did not expect to be featured by you know, the very person that introduced me to cosplaying, which is Elodia, she featured me on her page. And then I was just like, I was just like a nobody. I was just a kid. But, you know, she, she reached out to me and, you know, she told me that, you know, my works are, you know, she really liked the works. And, you know, for someone that you really look up to, um, compliment you in such a way is, is very memorable i guess diba? like kahit sino naman siguro na you know um to be acknowledged by their idols uh it will be a very memorable experience no so i guess that's that what that experience kept pushing me to keep on cosplaying to keep on improving to keep on um you know loving and sharing the craft to the community that, that was like that was a big motivation boost for me and that was like what six years ago. So I, I'm I'm like six years into cosplaying now wow. since then. Ako so that was very yeah. one time na, na I, I I became a host of APCC. So one of my cosplays was Stone Cold mm, Steve yeah, Austin. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And then there was a ring, and then you know yeah. there was a specific instruction that you just have to host. But I was like. Oh my God! There's a ring, and it's everything that you need to cosplay Stone Cold. So I went there with the with the background music of Stone Cold, and I have a a, a real beer. I did it, and, and it was like wow, the audience was you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your time to shine. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome, awesome experience. Yeah, there are really experiences. Oh, yeah. So, uh, IK, any questions uh, for our out, guest? No? Siyempre <laughs> naman. <laughs> Siguro, ayun, sige. Aside from yun nga, most memorable, what were the most challenging naman in terms of cosplay? What were, what were the most challenging times? Or pro- most challenging cosplays na you've ever tried? <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> but, um, siguro my most challenging cosplay so far is... I have two actually. One is Momo from Boku no Hero. Cause um her outfit has like this open open in the chest here. So I didn't know yeah. how um the physics of the costume was not possible. So like I was debating with my tailor how would we do it. So in the end we um we came to an agreement na maglagay ng mesh um on the upper on the on the middle part of it but in the end i i caught it because sin parang na, nahihila niya yung boobs ko <laughs> pababa parang it's it's not nice so like um what i did is to glue every every corner of the fabric until my until my belly so like it's all glued 
pag gano'n. <laughs> yeah, just to be safe, right? Because you never just to know. Just be safe. Because it's, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know when it's gonna pop or something. <laughs> yeah, so that's one of my um, most challenging. Because how, how, how and when um, will it, pan, pan siya matitibay? Like, the con was around 10 hours. So like, parang, I'm always looking at Bibigay ka na ba? Bibigay ka na ba? Dito katulad sa US, no? kasi from the US, there, there's something like a cosplay medic. Dito wala pang ganun. Mag- maganda yun ang gawin natin oh, in the future. Oh, there's some people. Diba? Uh, we yeah, we they, have they're... friends. Yeah. Mm, parang yeah. PlayStation yeah. na whenever you have a problem, you you go there and then you they, they fix you up. And the second most yeah, challenging... Yes, nice. siguro, no? Yeah. And the second most challenging character for me is my recent one, yung Jean. Ah, <laughs> Cause, yeah. cause, yes, because um, Zach mostly makes my stuff, like the armor parts and stuff. And I really doubted myself in making those, like the sword, the bracers, and the other things na nakakabit sa kanya. I was so nervous <laughs> of doing it because I didn't know how to do it. But I always watch and help him when he does it. So I think I learned now, man. So nung photo shoot na sabi ko, I hope it looks nice in the photos because sobrang, sobrang baguhan ko lang in crafting. No, I know how to do it. I, I don't do it usually. So like it took me one and a half week to do the sword, the bracers, and other stuff na nakakabit sa kanya. Plus, um, it was so hard kasi kakalabas lang ng Genshin before to find um, references ni Jean. Wala pang costumes na lumabas. So, wala kang, parang, I really wanted to do Jean kasi sabi ni Ate Edge. <laughs> At sabi ni Ate Alodia, sabi, go na, gawin mo. Parang sabi ko, okay, sige, sige, sinabi mo eh. <laughs> So yun, I really wanted to do her agad. So that was what that was the second most challenging cosplay for me. Cause it, it was new eh. Parang I had to do everything by myself. Cause we were not like So yun. Wow, <laughs> really yeah. challenging, Gabi. How about you, Saki? Kaba, the most challenging uh, cosplay for you? I can say dalawa din. Uh, my very the very most challenging talaga and it's my most favorite. Uh, it's the Cloud Strife from the Final Fantasy 7 remake. Cuz last year I got to complete the costume. I got to um how do you say this? I got to complete it. But you know, it it it, it, it turned out well. It uh it got um it got uh, it was well received naman but um i wasn't satisfied with it so this whole year the, this whole year as in this whole year from january till now uh i spent um improving it since the game came out and then you see all the details on the screen like all the tiny details then then the 3d models of the game became available to the public you can see each and every tiny detail so you can't help but you know be bothered but to try to get uh all those details as accurate as possible so it took a lot of like trial and error we um bought some materials that we didn't end up using because it didn't work (laughs) uh we had to dye fabric several times just to get the right color because the color was like it was changing in uh, under different lighting, so it's hard to you know replicate something like that, no, like uh, something that has has no um, what do you, what do you, how do you say this? Something that has no um, um, single look, because in a way it's multicolor under uh, different uh, lighting environments. So that's 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 the challenge there, and then, you know, the wig styling and everything, the detailing of the armor. Basically, it's it's overall it's just a lot of trial and error and experimenting, 
and to pull off a character that is so well loved it's such a such a timeless classic um yeah it was very fulfilling even though it was very difficult and it took like a while but you know all of it was worth it uh wow. second wow. most challenging is edward scissorhands because oh i did that <laughs> two years wow. ago yeah yeah I'm a, I'm a fan of like tim burton uh tim burton's work so to be able to like really put yourself into the character i had to absorb the movie like three times uh to just you know um feel the emotions of the character feel the way he moves feel feel all the tiny gestures that he does and then um uh given it's it's a movie character the props are obviously more detailed since we have something we we see it on the screen as something very tangible since it's it's an actual movie prop it's not special effects like making the scissor hands making the the wig uh you know uh replicating how the makeup was made all the uh stitches on his face all the scars yeah that was that was very challenging the fact that you have to like stay in stasis like this because you have scissor hands and then you know you're just quiet the whole time because you know if Froze. If you can yeah, scratch yourself, yeah. like, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I was literally frozen. You have to, like, really, really, really feel for the character. And then I really felt it because, like, having scissors for her fingers was not easy at all. I could not eat properly. I could not do the things that I have. And the, the funniest thing of all is I did it in a, in a Halloween party. <laughs> so imagine I can't party because I, I just have to stand and like be quiet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then it was worth it. It was also worth it in the end because you know I I I got to win the uh, best costume of the night award. Yeah. So who would who would all that the get the best costume nights. for all of that? Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is being. So Thank proud. you so much. Yeah. So. so like imagine the end. Yeah, it's so hard. Winning. It's really hard. Since like you're. Fingers are literal scissors. <laughs> so you're cosplay cloud, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, have Roxanne it's tried like my cosplay main character like, right now. like Aerith or Tifa? I did Roxanne. both. <laughs> oh, wow. I have to see that. Wow. Yeah, I, I did yeah, both. Yeah. So I, I'm like I'm like a fan of uh, Final Fantasy VII, and I'm now playing. You know, the remake. It was uh, one of my. You know, my favorite nice. the, my most favorite game well it was uh, the best the best game for yeah me, same for me. same it's, wow. it's my main yeah same then tifa, I agree, I agree. my my tifa is my most my my most loved character i mean wow. from my fans a lot of international i i garnered a lot of international fans because of my tifa cosplays Especially yeah, the nightgown ones. The nightgown one. Just, just a quick yeah. question for Sam. If you have to choose like between uh, Tifa and Aerith, if you're a clown, <laughs> who would you uh, love more? <laughs> oh, no! Sorry. <laughs> Parehas ko sila mahal, pero Team Tifa ako solid. <laughs> Tifa talaga siya. Tifa talaga. Tifa talaga. Tifa talaga solid. Wow. So I think we. But yeah, we have more. We have more FF7 wow. uh, plans than in the future because wow. after my my remaking of the of my costume, Roxanne has to remake hers again, and then we have another project na surprise na lang. Pero yes. We'll have, <laughs> we'll have an Aerith. Uh, we'll have an Aerith with us. We'll so have we'll an have Aerith. A team. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have a three-person party just like in the game. So, yeah. abangan yun na lang. Surprise na lang. I don't know. I don't know if Vincent. I, I've not finished yet the the Final Fantasy remake. I don't know if Vincent will be there. But I think Vincent would also fit your, you know, the the shape of your face. Oh yeah. Body. If ever Vincent comes out, probably it would be another. Uh, yeah. Just uh, actually, for you. 
yeah, man. Uh, nice that you brought that up because actually, I I also love Vincent as a character. I also yeah. love the how the way he looks. Pero the fact that you know, not to spoil you, man. Pero it's not the full game, kasi yung remake. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. like a one chapter, palang. So like, I, they, I have to wait for to the make it a trilogy. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um. You have to. I have to like wait for the remake Vincent first before I get to do that. Yes. So I got we we came to the one or mark of our show. Then let's ask uh, since you guys are really you know through cosplaying, you've been an influencer. Whether you like it or not, you know people look up to you. You have fans yeah. uh, and that you know. They will be uh, you know, stalking all your moves, whether you like it or not. So, to end uh, our you know our our show for today, what can you tell our fans? What can you share to them? Your your uh, wisdom and final message to to our viewers and to your fans. Roxanne, um, just enjoy. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. If you feel um, lazy now, or if if you're not feeling like it to cosplay now, because it's pandemic and it's quarantine, that's okay. Um, do everything at your own pace. Um, like for me, I usually because I tend to do new stuff every week, almost every week. Um, it's one of my coping, um, cosplay has been one of my coping for my anxiety, so it's pretty normal for me to do this. So, um, don't pressure yourself too much, but, um, if you want to start for, for people who want to start in cosplay, start small, start simple, um, don't, don't, um, I suggest you pick a character that's easy. So you can um, work on it slowly and you can get the details if you want to be a detailed cosplayer. Just um, at the end of the day, in every hobby, the most important thing is to enjoy it. Enjoy it, every process of it. Have fun. And have fun, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sack? Ayun. Uh, same as Rox. Uh, basically, um start uh start simple don't overwhelm yourself with like big cost plans because honestly me as a kid my very first uh character that i want to cosplay was cloud strife but obviously for a 10 year old back then who doesn't have access to materials um i wouldn't be able to pull it off at all and i i was so overwhelmed with the details that i didn't get anything done so i guess like you know you have to start simple and then you can start building on that more and more because if you build on uh, um, a simple foundation you can start turning more techniques until you can level up um to uh, more detailed costumes and like yeah like roxanne said, have fun uh this is a hobby uh you do it for yourself not to please other people because you like it you like you like you love the characters you love you love basically you love cosplaying you do it for yourself because it's it's really it's really for yourself talaga. it's it's something to make you happy as i, I see a lot of like cosplayers especially the new ones who who feel like you know they're not good enough because you yes, oh they're not likes, getting enough uh, likes you're not shares. getting enough followers they are, don't do it for that yeah don't do it for that. But if you're blessed with that kind of platform, eventually you have to be responsible with you know, um, with how you you know you you act because you know whether you like it or not, people look up to you, and you have to set a good example because you know after you there will be another generation, and if you set this the example and the standard, they'll be the one uh, you'll be um, you'll be of good uh, influence. That's it. Tama, tama. I remember first time ko magko-cosplay ng Master Pogi, ang unang comment sa, hindi ka mukha ni Mr. Satan, you look like Tom Jones. So, but anyway, I did it. And then, <laughs> ngayon, parang, yeah. Oh, sino, oh, sino, yun. I, I just want to, huwag niyo kong tawagin Master Pogi, kasi parang gusto ko lang, alam mo, lawala yung, parang gusto ko, David, mag-cosplay ako ng Bane, 
they would still call me Mr. Satan. <laughs> Parang, oh <my> God. <laughs> It really stuck with you na talaga. <laughs> Ganun kasi like for, I, I, I'm, I'm for sure so at some point uh, one of your cosplays will really get stuck to the mind of your fans. And diba, ano, I yeah, think you have sure. and Zach and Roxanne, you still have the the campaign for fundraising? Nag, uh, nagpa-fundraise pa rin ba kayo para sa mga Oh, actually, oh, not anymore. Mm-hmm. I, I already donated my proceeds yesterday. Wow. Um, so I'm really donated thankful later to, to, to all, to all my Yeah. To everyone who's watching right now who donated, thank you so much for showing your kindness, your generosity, and your heart of giving because it was my first time doing something like this and to see all of like you know the community coming together to help society you know it's 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 something it's it's something really fulfilling and inspiring so thank you to everyone who donated thank we you have then. donated uh, donate. everything yeah, yeah. Uh, really awesome job guys i'm i'm really proud that thank you've you been so much. our guest for uh, animation show and i hope to meet you in person and even collaborate with you probably we could talk about yeah. you know uh, having uh, God of War uh, collaboration. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you, if you love God of War, I think that's one of my most. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. 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 Mm. We're trying to pull out a, a group cosplay for God of War because it's, it's one thing that's really difficult to do considering the looks. And, Very difficult, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you, thank you. So proud of you, so proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, thank much, you so much for, for having, having us. us. Thank you. It's an honor. Stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, thank you so much, Zach and Roxanne, for raising our show with your presence today. And I hope you guys thank you so uh, look much. forward to you, more of your endeavors in the future. More power to you guys. Thank you. I hope to see you soon in Gons as well. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Stay safe, Muna. We'll, we'll see each other. Yeah. All. Stay safe, Muna, guys. So, uh, thank you. Thank you. Everyone, thank too, you so yeah. much. Thank you. And guys, I think that that ends our uh, animation show for today. We have, we, I think, we should discuss next week about the the impending discussion on the anime piracy. It's napakahabang usapan. <laughs> Siguro kung pinag-usapan natin yeah. dito dapat dapat special episode. And also before we end, let's shout out to Ran Tubig, Camille Postolero, Brian Pablo, Tactic Bulus Vargas, Kauri Kaganda. And yeah, Kari Kaganda. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And do subscribe to uh, uh, Otako Play PH. Thank you guys. See you again next week. And thanks, thank Roxanne so and thank Zach. You. Please, please support these guys. They're really awesome. Yeah. They're helping out. Thank, thank you for so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. See you next week. Bye-bye. Same time. Bye-bye. 3 p.m. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.